This week, I got an espresso machine. It's my very first one. It's super awesome. Really like drinking it. It's amazing. Yep. So naturally, we needed to build something to go along with it. So put down your tools, guys. It's time for a make or break. Hey guys, welcome back to Make or Break. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And this week, I did. I got an espresso machine. Sarah's had one of her own forever. Brags about it all the it's, time. It's time. <laughs> my wife finally bought me one. I'm super excited about it, but it doesn't come without its problems. It needed a little stand for a all the espresso cups. cups. You have special fancy cups. Espresso and cups. I was not okay with them being all over the counter, so luckily Sarah found a plan. This adorable little cup holder. Here's how it went. Now this coffee cup stand was inspired by the super creative team over at Shanty to Chic. They shared this design like six years ago, but it's still super easy and will look great even in the kitchen today. To get started, all we needed to do was cut two boards into squares. Now one is seven and a quarter inch square, which is easy when you're starting with a one by eight board, which is already seven and a half inches wide. And a five and a half inch square, this one cut from one by six, which you guessed it, is already five and a half inches wide. With our two bases cut out, it was time to sand, sand, sand. This goes way quicker when you're working together, so I grabbed a sanding block while Sarah used our random orbit sander. Then we grabbed a scrap 2x2 two two block and measured it out to about 12 inches. Then we just cut it with a miter saw. Now this will be the center piece that the cups will hang from. Of course, sand, sand, sand. Then we decided to finish our pieces before assembly. Sarah found a black stain that she really liked, so she stirred it up and used a foam brush to apply it pretty heavily against the grain. And then after it soaks in, you wipe off the excess with the grain. And yeah, it turned out beautiful. When it finally dried, she decided to use a sand block on all the edges and the corners to give it like this aged look. And we were both surprised about how good it turned out. When the pieces were all ready, she used a square to find the center of each piece. Now the instructions told us to use a glue gun to hold these pieces together, but Sarah decided to simply hold them in place with a piece of tape and then pre-drill a hole, which worked pretty well. Once aligned, she put the screw in just far enough that it came out the other side so she could use it to center the tower piece. Once all of it was aligned, she just screwed it all together. And when you look at that, next she carefully positioned her hooks and screwed those on too. They're staggered on either side of the tower so you can fit more mugs in a smaller place, like that. And there you have it. We built a simple cup stand with just a few tools, some dark stain, and some hooks. And it looks absolutely amazing. And it looks right at home in our kitchen. Well, that turned out real nice. It was really fun to build too. It wasn't that difficult. I yeah, it. I was kind of surprised how quick it went. It's a very yes. easy project that you yeah. guys can easily do in an hour or so on it's the weekend. It's adorable, and the cups on it, right next to the machine, it's just perfect. I'll tell you what, distressing the edges and yeah. stuff after painting it mm -hmm. made a huge difference. It yep. made it kind of look like this old collectible Rustic thing. thing. Yeah, it's yeah, cute. It's really good. I want to thank Hart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us we can build anything we can imagine if we do it with Hart. All right, guys, break's over. Go make something.